again, my friends, and thank you for joining me once again. This is part three of the Real Littles bags being opened. We have a third set of bags. So the first one I did was the regular bags, and then we did some Disney bags, and now I have this set that I didn't even know existed until I saw them in the store. So that gives you a reason to go check it out in store. Um, so these each contain six surprises inside. They are the ones I chose are themed after a bunny, mermaid, unicorn, and a gamer bag. Um, so the gamer bag was the first one I spotted, but that I really, really wanted, but we're going to leave that one till last. Um, and we're going to start with the bunny, but let's, so let's start with looking at the back. Um, this series actually includes six, six <laughs> different bags, um, which have matching surprises, the gamer, beach, makeup, bunny, mermaid, and unicorn. Um, the only one I don't really care about is this makeup one. I really do. I do want to pick up the beach one. It was there, but I was buying so many items at the time. Um, I was trying to be a little choosy, but I still walked out with a lot. So, um, now one of the things that I have recently learned is that you do have to be careful of tampering with these, um, because they're easy to open from the bottom, even though they're meant to be opened from the top. So, yeah, just something to be careful about um, when you're uh, looking at these types of items, anything that has a surprise inside, if you notice that it's been tampered with <clears throat> and you buy it anyway, just know that you're buying it at your own risk. Um, because I don't know if stores are going to take things back if you tell them it was tampered with after the fact. So the bunny bag has um, fluffy bunny ears, a fluffy bunny tail, and it's a soft texture. It's kind of like velvety. Um, it's interesting. Um, it's not fuzzy, but it's kind of soft feeling, so that's interesting. Um, something else I'm noticing is that this bag, like the Disney ones, the carabiner's not on the outside, so I'm wondering if it's inside the bag. We'll have to take a look. Go ahead and zip this open and the first thing I see inside is a little pouch with adorable little bunnies holding peaches and once again these do open super cute what else do we have inside we have a bunny themed lunchbox I do love the bunny theme super cute look at the bunny and we've got these yellow star designs on the soft pink lunchbox we have some stacked bunny pencils a sleeping bunny a surprised bunny and a happy bunny i love stacked pencils i think they're amazing um they're super tiny but so you probably could get a hand cramp if you're not a kid and you're writing with these. But I have a bunch of them now. And they're adorable. And we have a bag tag, which is bunny shaped and filled with glitter. Shake it up. Um, it does not have water inside. It's just the glitter and air. And we have, oop, we have things sneaking out. We have a composition notebook. Okay, this is cute. Oh, but it's blank inside. No lines on lined paper. So that's pretty cute. The bunny with the peaches, so it matches everything else. We also have some stickers. The bunny with the, the peaches. We have stars. I really like the sleepy bunny. The happy bunny. I love these bunnies. This is cute. And we also have this. So we have two, four, oops, six, 
Um, are they counting? The oh no, this one had six. That's right. So six was the number we were looking for. I was thinking seven because the Disney ones were seven. So we have the stickers, the composition notebook, the pencil pouch, the lunchbox, the bag tag, and the stacked pencils. Pretty cool. All right, let's zip up the bunny bag and set that off to the side. And next we have the mermaid bag. Look at that design in there. Wow, so tiny. What's in my bag? Love, R-O. Love it. Back's the same. So we don't really get an idea of the actual items we're going to get this time. But that's okay. Um, so this bag is super shiny. We have a scalloped scale pattern and a glittery mermaid tail. Um, it's pretty smooth though. It's not like rough like glitter normally is. Um, is glittery on the back of the tail as well and the scalloped pattern goes all the way around I love how it changes color as we tilt it. That's super fun And it's pink and purple and you can't go wrong with that in my book Let's slide her open and see what we have inside. We have a wonderful mermaid pen With the scallop design. I'm guessing this ink is probably gonna be purple. I rather like this little tiny pen. I may actually use this one. And what else have we got inside? We have another little notebook. This one with the scalloped mermaid tail scaling. And I'm guessing, yep, blank pages inside, but that's okay. We have mermaid themed stickers, the tail, the heart, a pearl or a bubble, either, um, and a shell, super cute. We also have a bag tag of a shell. It is glittery on both sides and purple. I'm in favor, love it. There's the carabiner. We have a little pad of sticky notes. Super cute, purple shell. Oh, and a little pouch. Again, with the mermaid shell or mermaid scale design. Nice, easy moving zipper on this one. I love the purple colors. Um, this one is not as shimmery as the bag itself, but still pretty shimmery. And that's all our treasures for the mermaid bag. So, again, we have the pouch, the notebook, the stickers, the sticky notes, the pen, and the shell uh, bag tag. So, I can count. That's six. All right, let's slide our camera over. And we're going to look at the unicorn bag, which I did notice was sideways. But this was the only unicorn one I saw. And I wanted it. Um, I was surprised how many of these bags they had. at the Between the two stores, I got quite a few here. All right. Place the box to the side. And the unicorn bag is super shiny. Um, silver, of course. We have little unicorn little ears and a horn. Um, the white glitter here, and that is rough glitter texture. It is that shimmery metallic, so it changes color as we turn it. All right, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to try to get the ears and the horn to be in more of their proper place. Well, that's all good. We have a little notebook. Whoop! It goes this way. There's a unicorn on front, and it is gold and made to look glittery. It is not actually glitter, but um, it is printed as if it were glittery. And it is in a rainbow of colors. That's pretty cool. We also have a unicorn eraser. 
it has the unicorn and we can see if we turn it around that there's the rainbow of colors going all the way around the wrapping on the eraser which the eraser itself is white and what else have we got we have a star which is uh, multicolored glitter we've got kind of a um, it looks blue and pink and white kind of blended together I'm trying to get the camera to focus on that hopefully you can see that on camera and that is glittery on both sides we also have a tiny tape roll of amazingly blue um, nope purple bluey purple um, glittery star tape with the unicorn motif on the label and in case you're wondering yes this is really sticky tape um, I know this from other ones, but I don't see where the end is. It's okay. Try to get this to focus. That's super cool. And there's the carabiner. And we have a pencil. An ordinary pencil, that's interesting. With the unicorn and rainbow colors. And that is all of our items from the unicorn bag. I think we're missing, oh no, yeah, we're missing an item. One, two, three, five. Let's look inside one more time. Yep. So I got five items on this one. So the fact that the bag was turned sideways does indicate that uh, something had been removed. Don't know what. We will never know. So if I see another unicorn bag, I might pick up another one. That's annoying. So yeah, beware folks. And we have one more bag and this is the one we've all been waiting for. It's the gamer bag. Um, in case you're wondering, that's exciting to me because I'm a gamer. I do like video games. Um, I play role-playing games with my friends each weekend. Um, or video games, depending on how many people we have, how many, how much tired, how, how much tired, how tired we are, and other things. Set that one to the side. Now this one's different from the others because it's a hard plastic case. Um, we have the controller motif here on the front um, with the heart-shaped button. And let's turn her around. We've got um, pixel hearts all over the outside of the bag, um, front and back. And the handle has the RL for real littles on the top. If we pop that open. So it's got kind of a, a snap kind of closure that snaps into this hole here and everything is in a bag inside and the bag is sealed so yay let's open this up and see what we have inside Doo -doo. Pop this out throw out the empty baggie and we have a tiny laptop says moose china and if we turn it over and i'm liking this so we've got like the design like this would be the where the vents are and everything that's pretty cool and if we open it up oops we opened it a little too far we can see there's some stuff going on here we're having a chat we're playing a game we're doing various stuff it has all the keys that's really fun this is awesome I'm excited. We also have, oops, I'm throwing things. We have a phone, which I'm holding upside down. There we go. We have a phone, which is clearly being used to play some sort of mobile game. And we have a phone case, which is purple. I can approve of that. We'll put the phone in the case. 
Awesome. We also have a book. Oh my god, is this a comic book? Okay, are these actual- those don't look like actual words, but let's open it up. Oh, it's blank paper! Oh, that makes me sad. I was excited for a minute, but... Yeah, these are not actual words printed on the book. Um, it's just made to look like it's words. I'm trying to get the camera to... But it's still cool! Oh, if it had only had a design inside, that would have been so cool. We have gamer headphones. No microphone! Come on, people. This should have a mic on it. But that's okay. There's actually buttons on the side for con as if you're controlling volume and stuff. And, um, yeah, I'm liking this. They're purple with white uh, for the spongy earphones. That's really neat. The bag tag is a controller. I love this. And lastly, a mouse. Try to get it to focus. So, um, in case it's hard to see, it does have left and right buttons. And even a mouse wheel. It doesn't move, but that's pretty cool. Let's look at the bottom. Yep, so here's the optical light and the feet. Alright, that's pretty cool. And the cord. It looks like it could actually plug in. So, I'm <laughs> I'm thrilled. This one was the best. Let's zoom in. Get a better look. I love it. I just love it. So, from the gamer bag, which I adore, we have the phone with phone case, the comic book that's blank inside, but it is pages, so that's really cool. We have the um, laptop, the controller bag tag, the headphones, and the mouse, which obviously is going to go with the laptop. That's just really cool. It has a purple carabiner in case you want to attach this bag to your own bag and uh, use it <laughs> to carry stuff with you. So um, pretty exciting stuff. Uh, what do you think? Which ones do you like best? Um, was there an item that you loved the best? I think we know which bag I prefer uh, the most. I really, really like the gamer bag. And uh, I'm disappointed in missing an item from the unicorn bag, but it's a lesson learned. Um, gosh, my favorite item, it's really got to be the fake comic book or the headphones. I like those. They're super cool. Um, but what about you? What's your favorite bag from this collection? Um, what's your favorite item from this collection? Go ahead and comment below. And while you're at it, don't forget to like the video. Click subscribe. Click the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And be kind to yourself and one another. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.